and welcome. I'm Jackie Munair. I'm Head of Law here at Cardinal Newman and I'm going to be speaking to you about what you can expect if you decide to study law with us here at Newman. Law is a very popular subject here at Newman. We've got a lot of students doing it. We, we study both the A-level and the B-tech in applied law and both are really interesting courses. Both courses are designed to give you an understanding of the English legal system and how it operates in England and Wales and various areas of law such as contract, um, tort law and criminal law. The A-level law requires a grade six in English uh, language in order to study the topic. Um, we, it's 100% examination and you will study three papers and sit your exams at the end of the two years. In terms of the assessment that you will do, there's a combination of multiple choice, short answer and longer answer questions in which you will be applying your knowledge of the law to the facts of a scenario. So it's kind of like you're advising a client were you a solicitor or a barrister um, or somebody working at the Citizens Advice Bureau, for example. Within the A-level, we study three broad areas of law. We look at criminal law, so you'll study things like murder and when somebody will be guilty of murder. We also look at defences, so how you can get out of a crime if you committed one. Um, we look at contract law, so what makes a valid contract and if you want to get out of a contract, such as if you want to get out of your mobile phone contract, then we look at how you would do that. And then tort law, and tort law is essentially all the adverts that you see on TV with the, have you had an accident at work and, and, and all that. It's basically somebody has a duty, they've really messed up, you've suffered an injury, and we look at how somebody would get compensation for that. But there are a range of enrichment opportunities should you want to study law here at Newman. For our higher achieving learners um, across both the A-level and the B-Tech, you get the opportunity to be involved in the Barmot Trial Competition, which is a really exciting competition that basically you get to pretend to be a barrister for a day, you prepare a case, and then you go up against other colleges nationwide and basically see who wins. Um, it's, a, it's a really interesting, students really love it. It looks fantastic on your university or your work applications. And as I said, that is open to both A-level and B-Tech students. In addition to that, there are a range of trips that we go on within the law department. We do a, an annual trip to London in which we go and visit the um, Supreme Court. So we look at how judges in this country make and apply the law. We go to the Houses of Parliament, so you get to have a look, a look around the House of Commons and look at how laws are made in this country by Parliament. We look at the Inns of Court, which if you want to be a barrister, we visit them and that's something that you have to be a member of do, should you want to be a barrister in the future. We also um, visit the, the Preston Crown Court and Magistrates Court, which is just up the road. It's a fantastic experience for students and B, they've had a lot of really fantastic high profile cases that have been there. There's been things like the Hillsborough trial that was held there, Dr Harold Shipman, his court trial, his trial was there, as was the, um, the Bulger Killers. So it's a fantastic court to actually go and visit and see law in action. Hi, my name's Cliss and I'm one of the law teachers here at Cardinal Newman College. I teach BTEC and A-level law and I'm also a work experience coordinator. I'm also on the equality and diversity team uh, and I'm an equality and diversity champion. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the BTEC vocational law programme that we offer at Cardinal Newman. On the BTEC law programme you'll be studying substantive law topics and theory based topics. In relation to substantive law, that would be areas of criminal law such as murder, homicide and the non-fatal offences. And with regards to the English legal system, you'll be looking at how the courts work and the people that work within them such as juries, magistrates and barristers and solicitors. In terms of how you will be assessed, you'll be preparing pieces of coursework and also sitting an exam because BTEC is a combination between internal and external assessment. All of the internal assessment is set in a vocational context, so you will be advising uh, clients as if you worked at a solicitor's firm in letter writing and application skills which are transferable into a career in law. I also organise work experience within the department as work experience coordinator. We do a lot in the department to support students with work experience given that law is a very very competitive career choice. Having legal work experience helps you to stand out from the crowd. We work alongside employers in the local area in order to secure placements for our students and they're available to students on both the A-level and the BTEC Law Programme. We also have a specific Teams page that is dedicated to careers. 
We post updates and advice to students on how to secure placements on open days and potential career days that they might want to attend. We also offer low drop-in sessions where students can come and talk about any concerns that they might have in relation to careers and if they need any advice with regards to applying for placements. We also have the Low Careers Plus programme, which means that BTEC students can apply to be in the Work Experience class, which combines academic learning with being on placement one day a week in a legal setting. In terms of career paths, Law is incredibly versatile and can literally take you anywhere. We have students that do go on to progress to work in the legal sector, and we've had a number of students who have become barristers, solicitors, and have worked in central government. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch, and we look forward to seeing you in September.